Hi, beautiful. Welcome to Hairdresser Reacts. You look incredible today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to Hairdresser Reacts, well, hello, welcome. I have not introduced myself in a long time. I'm Brad Mondo. This is my channel, welcome. Subscribe for sure if you haven't subscribed already. This is Hairdresser Reacts, where I am a licensed hairdresser who has a lot of experience in the industry. I'm here to give you my opinion and my input on what happens to the girls I watch in these videos. Most of these girls completely ruin their hair. Some of them do very well, but nonetheless, it's quite entertaining. So welcome to Hairdresser Reacts if this is your first time here. So today we're watching videos that are in some way, shape, or form addressed to me. These girls either took advice from my videos, did their own thing, and said, sorry, Brad Mondo, in their titles or whatever. All of the titles have my name in it. I'm interested to see if they learned anything from watching my videos or they didn't learn anything at all and they wrecked their hair. We shall see today. But with that all said, let's do some reacting, shall we? Let's get it started. Yes, I am wearing two pairs of pants. Our first video is by Tia Tidwell, and this video is addressed to me. What in the bleach fail hell? <laughs> Hi, Brad Mondo. Oh, well, this sounds like fun. I mean, we're doing bleach, we have a fail, and something's gonna go damn wrong, and I think she wants me to see it. I'm watching it now, okay, Tia? I'm finally going to bleach my hair. I did end up doing a yes. bleach bath, literally maybe 30 minutes to an hour ago. Oh, perfect. And this is what my hair looks like when it's wet. It's already looking rough. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this so that way my hair is nice and dry for the whole bleaching process. Okay, good, good. We like that. Um, my hair is fully coated in coconut oil right now because you're not supposed to bleach your hair on fresh, clean hair. But it's fresh and clean. So, <laughs> let's walk through all of the products that I bought today and then we'll get into the whole bleaching thing. What are we so, using? Bright White Ion Color Brilliance Cream. Yes, we love that. Cream lighter. Um, I love cream lightener. Up to eight levels. I honestly love this cream bleach. Like, yes. Probably my favorite. I can't stand powder bleaches. They just. Yeah, they're kind of gross. Disgusting. Another 30 volume. Yes. Boom. With the bleach, and then I got a 20 volume double. Yes. Boom. She's killing it so far. The toner that I got is the bright white cream toner in platinum lace. Yes. Boom. <laughs> She's I've killing it. Things about it, I've never tried it before. I've and she's actually using a toner. She's not using T18, which is a permanent color. This is going so well so far. Yes, Tia, I love you. And the last little thing that I picked up was a new wide tooth comb, just cause I also got a professional hair coloring foil packet of 100 because. What is she using that for though? I wonder. Salon. She's doing highlights? What are we doing? I'm gonna do that because this is Tia's salon. I need to stop dancing. And then I got two packets of gloves. Yeah! Tia is so prepared for this color. This is going to be so good. I am so ready. However, I think I should still expect the worst outcome possible because, you know, you just never know. And also, this is addressed to me. Probably a fail, you know? So, we're definitely starting off with a strange color palette, right? Her ends are light. Her roots are dark. She has spotting going on all up the top of her roots. It's a little bit messy. So, in order to balance this out, she's gonna have to do a lot of work. Probably use a different developer on her midsections than her ends. Get in there, get all that dark stuff out first maybe. You just can't put bleach all over the head all at once in this case because it's gonna end up really light in some areas, really dark in some areas. It's just gonna be all over the place. So Tia, fingers crossed that you don't just put it all over your head all at once. Please don't do that. But I went ahead and mixed <clears throat> my bleach and my Color Brilliance whatever step one thing. It should be like cake batter consistency like that. Where are we starting, girl? That's a, oh, we're taking small sections, yes! Take my first foil. Okay, what are we doing with the foil? Do my roots, I'm gonna stop a little bit before my roots and do my roots um, last. Yes, Tia, this is a great idea. Why is that a great idea? The roots process the fastest cause you have heat from your damn scalp, ugh. 
Dia, you were so on track until right now. Stop it. She is going over the ends. Ugh. Those ends are already so light. You don't want to lighten them anymore yet. You want to get that dark patchiness in the mids of your hair out before you then hit the ends with lightener. We want to get our palette even, right? Come on. I think we're putting 30 volume over those already lightened ends. That should be a disaster made in heaven. Um, this is that all the product you're putting on? Girl, put more product on your hair. Okay, also, when we do foils in salon, we are taking paper thin sections typically. Or if we're not taking paper thin sections, we're really putting a ton of lightener on that hair, just mushing it in, making sure it's on every hair strand. Here, we're not doing such a thing. We look like we are not getting all of the hair strands, so we are gonna get a lot of spotting, and I can't wait. Just kidding, I can wait. I can wait for that. I don't want that to happen. I was going to just do the mid shaft of my hair and then do my roots and my ends last since technically I've already had blonde ends. Yes! So I, was like, mm, I changed my mind. Ugh. <laughs> Why did you change your mind? She like knows what she's doing. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, oh sh. Freaking saw, dude. It's like she has the right ideas for these things, but isn't executing it correctly. What a damn surprise. You had the right idea with going on the mids first, but you didn't end up doing it. Now we're taking the foils out and we're now going on the roots after. However, this root you have is a little too long. The heat from your scalp only really hits like about an inch of your hair. So anything below that is gonna not process as light as the other parts of your root. And typically when we do this whole like roots after situation, we are doing like paper thin foils. Then we just go in between the foils. We don't actually take the foil out. That way those ends are getting the heat from the foil and the roots are getting the heat from the scalp and that way it all processes the same. At least she's getting the back of her head quite nicely. This might not be like terrible after the toner I feel like. Could be kind of cute. Watch me still have hot roots though. Watch me! You can have roots that are lighter but hot roots really refer to when you're doing like a darker color and the roots process lighter because of the heat from the scalp and you end up with like a red or orange root and like dark ends. That's more of like a hot root situation. This this is more just like your uh, your roots are processing lighter than the rest of your hair situation and which that is most definitely gonna happen to you i have another back piece don't try this at home her ends look pretty decent so i would not recommend doing this by yourself nope you can see i've ripped a glove don't know how i ripped the glove and it's messy and i couldn't see in the back but i think i think i got it like Oh, okay, we're on to something here. I mean, I definitely see a lot of reds, a lot of oranges, a lot of blondes, a lot of stuff going on in one head. I don't know, maybe she'll pull it off somehow. I don't have much hope. These parts have already like started to like- Oh, okay, her roots are really white. White. My hair, which I know I saturated my hair like. The bleach the didn't take. Been through three bleach batches, and like I know I saturated my hair. I'd have to say you didn't saturate your hair enough. I probably would have gone through like six or seven bowls of bleach to do your hair. Yeah, maybe more than that. And if you did saturate your hair enough, it wouldn't be moving like that. All right, it should be creamy on your hair. It should be laid thick. And I can still see through that lightener on your head to your real hair. So we didn't put enough on actually. More is more in the situation. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back in my bathroom. Oh. <laughs> No. My hair does not feel damaged at all. Like it feels so. Strange. Oh, it, well, it looks a little damaged, girl. I'm not stressing though, honestly. <laughs> Oh, you should start now. Oh, no, 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 Do not hit those roots ever again. Do not do it. Those of you that know me in real life know that my hair is a lot curlier than this and a lot bigger than what it is. And it's fully dry. Like the bottom is still kind of damp. Oh, shit. It's like 95% dry. And it's like. Oh shoot. Curly. I had to scrunch it to get it to this, honestly. Yo, her hair's wrecked, man. Once I rinsed out the second batch of bleach, um, 
I used purple shampoo. Ugh, good old purple shampoo. Everybody thinks it's gonna cure their, all their symptoms. We're on to the next video, her, her next video, where she continues to lighten her hair. And she used T18 overnight to be great. And now we're here, I guess. I might do the bright white platinum lace and see if that helps my case at all. And then after that, we're twisting in the wind. If I don't like my blonde after all of this, I already told Sabe that I was probably just gonna end up dyeing my hair like a light brown. Take the color and products away from Tia immediately. Somebody who's close to her, please take it away. It looks really good at the root, at least. This is all of the hair that I cut off, by the way. Oh. I don't know why, but I don't want to throw it away. Like, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to get rid of it. Holy sh she really cut all that off? Okay, so. Oh, it actually looks a lot okay, better so with the ends cut off. Okay, so now we're toning. And the lady at Sally's, cause I, the one thing that I was really nervous about was my hair being gray. Like I don't want it to be gray cause I know what the frick, what the freaking well of T18 crap does. Like it makes your hair extremely gray. And I don't want it to be gray. So what happens with T18? I mean, it's, it's a permanent color and it, it sometimes just overtones hair, right? Sometimes there's no real helping your hair not turn gray unless you're really experienced with this, you know? The upside about that is if it does turn gray, it's usually just a cast of gray over your hair. And once you shampoo it once or twice, it usually goes away and turns more white than gray. So I wouldn't worry too much about that because it, that is easily removable. I'd rather my hair be gray than orange. So she told me to put it on the ends and stuff of my hair, but avoid my roots since my roots are really, really light. Nice. That's a good idea. So we're working around the head. We're putting that T18 on. She's hoping for the absolute best. I'm here expecting the worst because T18 doesn't work on hair. That is orange, man. That is a level 12 toner and it's not gonna do anything. I'm thinking it's gonna turn her roots gray and her ends are gonna stay orange. We've seen this time and time again, yet people still swear by T18. Oh, oh she's so over it and so am I. This is the color that the Wella toned my hair to. My roots are the blonde that I want. The rest of my hair is not the blonde that I want. So here's my theory. Oh, here we go, Tia. What, baby, yeah, get it, give it to me. I got the Argan Oil Hair Color, Intense Color and Shine Superior Conditioning, 100% great coverage, permanent color cream. I don't wanna bleach my hair again because I don't wanna risk messing up my curls again. Cause as you can see, like, they're back. They're not conditioned because I've had a pineapple on my head all week, but they're back. But my thing <laughs> is to get this color and use a 30 volume and hopefully it like lightly lifts <laughs> the yellowish blonde out of my hair. Color doesn't lift color. Technically that's against the rules. You don't put color on top of color to make it lighter. You only make it darker or you tone it. That rule is sometimes broken by hairstylists and sometimes you can do it. This isn't one of those cases. You need to use bleach. You're not really in my eyes saving your hair by not using bleach again. You could use bleach with say 20 volume and your hair will be fine. It can take a little bit more lightening because your ends need that extra boost in order to get that orange out. But here, now you're using 30 volume with color, which is still pretty damaging to um, your hair. It's also high lift color, so it has a ton of ammonia. It's gonna really lift your hair cuticle, open it really wide and cause a lot of damage. So I don't think that was your best idea. You should just use bleach again. So my theory didn't work. <laughs> I thought it was going to. Um, my hair is still like this weird, not brassy. Because color doesn't lift color. But as I said before, starting this, this is the only thing that I can control. And what I controlled was a hot ass mess. <laughs> I'm never, ever, ever, ever doing this to my hair again. Okay, so your hair actually is savable right now. What I recommend is you go to a hair stylist. But also, if you're not gonna do that, use a level six or seven toner on your roots. Bring that color color down a little bit, then tone the ends with a level eight ash. That will knock out a lot of that orange and still leave your hair blonde, but not overly blonde, which will give you a nice, beautiful, natural blonde color. It won't be platinum, it won't be roots to ends light, but it will still give you that feeling of having really light hair and it'll just look a lot cleaner. Just go to a salon and ask for like a root drop toner and they should help you out and they'll, they'll fix your hair. But that was a lot, holy shit.
Sophia, you went there and I feel for you and never do that again. End scene. All right, let's watch one more video addressed to me. This is called, I've watched every Brad Mondo video, ready to bleach my hair. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, and this is by Herminiard TV. So basically I skipped the intro. What she did was she went to Sally's with her friend and she's showing us what she got from Sally's and she's about to bleach her hair. Powder oh, lightener. lightener. Okay, cool. I don't know. Gloves, mixing bowl. Perfect. Brush. Perfect. Some cool, like, damage repair. Perfect. After. Uh, I think it's like oiliness. That, like, you leave in your hair for a while. Oiliness. <laughs> and I'm using Wella T27 toner. 30 volume developer. And I also got. At least it's not T18. Conditioner and shampoo because apparently. Like this whole color wheel thing, purple cancels out yellow or something along those lines. You got it. Recommended so that you don't have brassy and yellow in your hair. So what I'm going to do since I have fairly short hair is I'm going to try my best to leave the back until the end. So she's working with a great palette here. Her hair is short. She has thick hair. This should be very simple. She's set up to do very well here. There's not a lot of ways that she can ruin her hair. However, we have seen time and time again, even if there's very little ways of ruining your hair, these girls always find a way of doing it. Technique. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to use the brush because that because the hands are much better. So far, actually so good, even though she's ditching the brush, but I understand because it's really hard to use on your own head. She is not lightening her roots first because they process faster and she's working on the mid sections and ends first. That is great. And she's definitely not applying enough lightener. Way more than that, come on girl. Okay, forget sectioning. Forget the brush, forget the sectioning. Go for it at this point, I guess. Okay, it's starting to lighten. We're putting it in like shampoo because bleach apparently lathers, which I didn't know that. Stop combing the lightener through your hair. It's not good for your hair. Your hair is in a fragile state. Stop combing it. It looks even though. This could be very good. Don't worry about it. Hold on, you just snuck that in there, didn't you? She just used one of my tricks that I mentioned, I think in one video a while ago, which was when I put, you know, plastic caps over clients or over my hair, when I was platinum, I would spray water in it. That way your body heat will uh, basically create steam in the bag because the bag is wet and your heat is coming out of your head and it makes a steamy concoction. That way the lightener doesn't dry out as it's processing and you get that steam going on in the bag to make it process faster. This is good. This is really good. Apparently you can like steam it if you go from like far away. I, spr and I squirted some water in here. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer. I've heard that it looks a lot lighter than it is before you rinse the bleach out. She took notes while watching hairdresser reacts besides not applying enough lightener you need to have it caked on there that seems to be the thing that people always get wrong even if they get everything else right they don't apply enough lightener you can tell it didn't process enough Ooh, it doesn't look that good it doesn't look that good she knows she she did something wrong she she did something bad it looked like tomatoes and pancakes and the sunshine all had a demon possessed child <laughs> yeah we don't like that so we're gonna Wait this out. So she's bleaching it again, <laughs> is what's happening, which is good because she needed it. I just looked up the check and it's not looking half bad, mother <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was worried <laughs> when I took the first layer out because, oh my gosh. So what I ended up doing was I put it on back here first in those couple spots that I didn't need to start bleach in. And I let that sit for like two seconds and then I did the rest of my head again. You should have let it sit longer than two seconds, and but whatever, I'll take it, I'll take it. Salon and get it fixed. It's still got like quite a bit of yellow in it, but that's also what the toner is for. Uh, after I wash it, I'll show you that before I put on the toner and then we'll see what that looks like. It was then that I questioned. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> kind of looks cool actually. It's like kind of bad with that style she has going on. The beautiful toner that I am Hoping it's gonna fix this. <laughs> Probably not, since your hair is a level eight right now and that's a level 12 toner. So it actually doesn't look that bad. I like it a little bit. I washed it with the purple shampoo, nothing. Put the purple conditioner in, however, I'm gonna leave this in for as long as I can. <laughs> Tone the sh out of your hair, please. The only thing that's making me feel better at this point. It doesn't look that bad. It could be so much worse. My brown hair, it's gone now, it's okay. I think I just need to get used to this. I think I can live with this though. I think I, it's not. I okay, change like, my mind. <laughs> yet, but I think we're getting there. Anyways, uh, this is the hair dried. 
And it doesn't look bad. So I'm gonna go get my hair fixed right now. Oh, she's getting it fixed. Okay, cool. Oh, they're giving her a root. You best believe that's what happened. Oh, oh yes. Yes, 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 like yes, yes, yes. Woman. I love it. I do too. It's amazing. And within two weeks, my opinion changed. All right, you know, so here's the deal. What? Here's the thing. I am a woman. Do you mean your opinion changed? How it looks on me, it's just too loud. And I look back at pictures and I miss my brown hair. I try. No. Now I know what it's like. Now I know how I feel about it. Um, so the reason I waited this long to change it was because this was coming in the mix. <sighs> I have another bottle of Overtone over there right now that is a little bit of leftover of Daily Conditioner Extreme Red. And I can tell y'all right now, that was a real bad idea. And I've always kind of wanted some red in my hair. So what I'm gonna aim to do now is mix a little bit of the extreme red with- You just went to a salon to fix your hair and it looks so good. I'm gonna go back to my beloved dark brown hair. We've seen enough. Let's just fast forward and see what ended up happening, what she ended up with. This red brown concoction she made up that I'm so not looking forward to. <sighs> God. Ugh. I told y'all it was a bad idea. And then I sat in the sun. No. I can't do any more. I can't take any more. No. These videos have been too much for me today. I washed them again, and it just kept going like further and further to like carrot orange. Stop talking. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ugh. Oh, these are the worst videos I've ever seen in my life. I've heard enough. God. Damn it. Oh my Jesus. Her hair looked so good with the roots and the blonde and then ended up copper and spotty. That hurt me deep down. That really affected me. I'm done, man. I'm done. Cut. End scene. We're done here. All right, you guys. I am fully over it. <laughs> Those two videos were so so tragic and they were also addressed to me so thank you guys for at least entertaining us but also i'm gonna need you to pay me for uh damages you've done to my mental health i can't say any good things about either of them they both had a, a good understanding of how it's supposed to be done and how to do it well but neither of them did it well because you know why it's a very difficult thing to bleach your hair yourself. That is why hairstylists exist. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at BrightMotoNYC. Shop my hair care line below at xmotohair.com and also follow xmotohair for new product launches coming up next week. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>